Good evening. An international march to help stop sexual assault is coming to the border city for the first time. Men and women are putting on their best pumps to raise awareness about a serious issue and raise money for the Lloydminster Sexual Assault Center. Kim Smith caught up with two well-known men in the community who are slipping into high heels to learn what it's like to walk a mile in her shoes. City Councilor Jason Whiting and Lloyd FM Morning Show host Brandon Bonsler are just two of the 95 men and women signed up for Lloyd Minster's first Walk a Mile in Her Shoes fundraiser. These shoes, they, they tend to kind of, you feel like you're balanced and then they kind of give out right at the ankle, so you never know. The event has been held annually in other cities worldwide. Organizers say they've been overwhelmed with the local support. The response has been bigger than I had anticipated, so it's putting us on the map a little bit. It's, it's letting people know in the community that, that a sexual assault center does exist in Lloyd. Brandon Bosler hopes to raise $5,000 and Jason Whiting is aiming for $1,000. they are both still looking for donations. The goal for the entire event is to raise $25,000. Heather Baines says money raised helps maintain programming. In terms of individual counseling or public education, group programs, we'll do hospital and RCMP accompaniments and we'll even go to court with survivors. For Jason and Brandon, they're happy to put up with a bit of pain to help end sexual violence. It's, it's, it's for a great cause, it's for an organization that is an uh, integral part of Lloyd Minster and I, I feel that they, um, this is a great way to help them raise some funds and, and have a good time and, and, and get everybody the camaraderie of us guys in heels together. And all that. It's an important cause, one that gets overlooked often. You know, they don't do a lot of big fundraisers. They're not always knocking on your door at the Sexual Assault Centre, but really to raise funds. But I think the big thing is, is to raise awareness. The short stroll begins at 4 o'clock Friday. Participants will walk from the route to City Hall and back. To donate or register, head to walkamileloydminster.com. I wouldn't say that I'm a pro. I could still roll an ankle or something and find out on Friday. I'm torn between practicing and then looking natural in heels or just uh, taking it as it comes on Friday. Kim Smith, Newcap News. Meanwhile, a local company is one of the many businesses lending a helping hand to raise money and awareness for the Lloydminster Sexual Assault Centre. Anna Stasla reports. Cause Shirts is preparing 150 t-shirts for the volunteers and walkers involved in the upcoming Walk a Mile in Lloyd Minster. We decided to partner with the Sexual Assault Centre because we just believe it's an issue that kind of goes unspoken and it's affecting a lot of people and a lot of people don't talk about it because it is an embarrassing issue. Besides providing the t-shirts for the walk, the company is also making specially designed items to help raise funds for the centre. Now items can be pre-ordered online until September 22nd. Eight dollars from each item sold will go directly to programs and services by the Lloydminster Sexual Assault Center. I think our organization is feeling very overwhelmed with the support from the community and it's just such a wonderful thing to be a part of. So far we've raised just under a hundred dollars which um, any money raised is always a good thing. We're hoping to raise as much money as possible because we just believe in this cause so much. Cause Shirts works with a different charity each week. Visit causeshirts.org to shop or find out more. Anna Stanislaw, UCAP News. Well, some Lloydminster residents will be in the dark for a couple of hours tonight as Sask Power will be doing planned power outages. Areas infect affected include 32nd Street to 44th Street, east of 47th Avenue to 40th Avenue, and commercial customers located on 37th Avenue and north of Highway 16. Now, the power outage is planned for tonight from 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Sask Power says this is necessary for system maintenance. More than 800 high school students are in the border city for the next couple of days as Lloyd Comp hosts the 2013 Saskatchewan Student Leadership Conference. Now this is the 33rd annual event in the province and the first in the border city. Now the gym was busy this morning as final preparations were made. Students will be treated to keynote speakers and activities throughout the conference, all in this year's theme of Lead to the Future. We're kind of playing on the back to the future theme um, with the 80s. So we're just going to have a little 80s touches in there. But basically it's just for us trying to lead 
to the future and being the leaders of tomorrow. We first started this a year and a half ago, so to finally get to this day with all the ups and downs that go with it, it's very exciting and the kids are, are pumped and we're just ready to get people here and, and get going. The conference starts tonight with the opening ceremony taking place at 730.